Okay, here is uh, a cheat lesson on how I cheat at playing guitar. <laughs> a lot. I cheat all the time. I find easy things that I can do that sound good and mix well with the band. And one thing that I have found specifically is to play less strings. You know, some people think, oh, I gotta play like four or five, I gotta play all six strings. Sometimes when you play too many strings, things get really meddled muddled I don't know what the right word is there that it just doesn't sound good you get you get I mean sure you got a lot of sound but sometimes sometimes less is more thing that I do a lot is I will play two strings. Two strings. So, for instance, uh, a, a, a video that I, that I have up, I got a question from a guy named Daniel. Thanks for your question, by the way. It's awesome that people are actually watching these. Uh, on a certain thing that I was doing at minute two in this video, uh, and it's this little two string trick that I that I do just using dyads so I'm just gonna cue this up and, and let's see if I've got this running through my guitar amp hopefully you can hear it so here's minute two in this video this is what he was asking about that kind of delay alright so anyway back to the song So based, all that is, is these top two strings on the seventh fret. So I'm doing middle finger, ring finger, okay, seventh fret, top two strings, then you keep your index finger right here on the sixth fret ready to go, because then you're going you're gonna to pull off your ring finger. Now you can do all kinds of cool stuff, like add, like in this video I, I add some delay. all that is. And then what you can do is you can slide up five frets basically is all you do. So then in this particular key we go from seven to middle finger on 12 on the B string, index finger on 11 on the E string. And it's the same thing only in, instead of you know going on and off of the, you're starting with it off your ring finger and then you're going on and off of it there. can do this in pretty much any key on pretty much any strings. You can do it on the top two together, you can do it on the middle two together, you can do it on the you know, the bottom. I mean, you just can't do it on four and five here. You can't, you can't, just because of the interval. But say I wanted to be in D. Okay, so here I am on the seventh fret on the third and fourth string. You can add that little third note. What you do is, okay, so you're you're here again with your ring finger and your middle finger. Okay, so since you're here, you can you can and then you just basically plunk that. You move that uh, ring finger down to the next string down. That basically gives you your major chord.
crap in there, man. I do that all the time. As a matter of fact, it's like my go-to when I don't know a song, and it's like, here, we gotta play this song. We've never played it before, but let's just do it. That's, it's like, well, okay, what key is it in? All right, it's in D. Or, you know, whatever. Say, uh, so that's what's in that video, uh, you know. That's it, super simple. This video's gone on now six minutes, hard to believe. And this is probably the first video I've put up in a really long time. So uh, thank you, Daniel, for the question. Appreciate it. Later.